In today's video, we're going to be fixing a mystery club. Yup, even I don't know which club we're going to be fixing this week. It could be Arsenal, it could be a club in the championship, maybe a club from Spain. Yup, literally any club. And we're going to be spinning the wheel to decide which club we'll be managing this week. So this should be fun. Here's how this is going to work. Recently, I had a collaboration with the EFL. That's right, guys, the English Football League, where they've got a creator club series on their channel and I had to help them out being the the assistant manager which was a lot of fun by the way links in the description to that video and over there they challenged me to accept a spin of the wheel and whichever team it landed on i'm gonna have to fix them so yup here's what happened didn't go to plan said but spin the wheel it, we've, sp we've spun it a lot less than usual because of the petition against spin the wheel <laughs> from you and mgh and other members of the the spin the wheel haters community uh, however, this will decide the destiny of the next team you are going to fix in your episode, which, by the way, you'll be able to find in the description. Let's have it. What team is it going to be? Oh, it's, it's still going. It's QPR. QPR is the team you've got. Queen's Park Rangers. They normally have a fair bit of budget. That's not bad. QPR, not bad. Okay. Um, we can take them to the top. They, that should be a fun one. Good side, good players, lots of budget. It's a, I think it's a good team to try and, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but why are we still here? That is right, guys. We're going to be fixing QPR today. Wow. Spinning the wheel to decide which club we fix in the championship as well. So this could be a fairly long fixing challenge. I'm ready for this. The rules are simple of today's fixing challenge. Of course, we didn't know the team, but now we do. It's QPR from the championship, winning the Champions League. We can make any transfers. We got to sim every single game. And once we get to that Champions League final, we play it to win it. All right. So season one with QPR begins. We're dealing with a pretty average team, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe for the championship, it's not too bad. By the way, respect EA for including Kian Prince still in FIFA. It's tragic what happened to him, but it's great to see EA showing a bit of appreciation by still including him in the game. I think he's gonna be decent for us, at least for a few seasons. He's our highest rated player. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. But this team needs a ton of improvements. They were running like a five at the back formation before I switched to do a 4-3-3 because that's how I want to play. I'm actually curious. How are QPR doing in real life. All right, so QPR, they are seventh in the league, in the championship. Not too bad, guys. With this team, I'd expected they'd be worse off. They've actually managed to be seventh with a few games in hand, so fair enough. Well, the wheel could have punished us a lot worse by maybe giving us one of the bottom teams, but you know what? QPR isn't all too bad. I think we can do a good job here. What is that budget, though? Oh my god, we're working with 4.3 million. Ah, <sighs> yikes. This QPR challenge now is going to be a lot more difficult. We're going to just basically rely on player growth for the most part. Oh boy. Well, the homegrown talent we could get from the academy is going to decide everything, I feel. And he looks OP. Harley Shepherd, he's not a center forward, guys. We convert him to like a cam. And I think he's going to be a bit of a baller for us. So let's do that and see what kind of an overall he's looking like. I feel he'd be better suited being like a left or a right winger. I kid you not. That might be his best position. I'm thinking right winger because he's left footed. Let's see what kind of an overall boost he gets by being there. But uh, maybe we'll make him a cam first and just see what's up. The 20 year old Jacob Ramsey literally feels perfect for our center mid position. Because if you look at our team, I think that's where we're lacking the most. Literally, that is where we're lacking the most. We got to replace that Dozzle guy. Reckon we should be sorted if we can do just that. Yo, this guy's name is Alpha. Well, we know he ain't an Alpha being 56 rated. We're just going to accept the offer. Get that son of a off the field right now out he's fired this isn't too bad trading away a cdm who i don't really care about all that much for like jacob ramsey we're not using a formation with cdms guys so if we can get a deal on this swap deal we'd be having cash left for other transfers this works for me there you go jacob ramsey for a good price not gonna lie i feel like that is a great pickup but what's happened to his head yo he's certainly not bald yo that, that's that's how he looks why is he looking like that in game ea i'm literally playing on the ps5 there are no mods here i don't know what's happened with the game jacob ramsey ea have done him 
very dirty. Wow. We've got a bit of cash left because we, of course, signed Jacob Ramsey with a very sweet swap deal. I'm thinking we use that cash and sign Sam McCollum on a permanent deal. Decent left back, great potential. He's on loan from Norwich. Let's make it happen. There you go. We've managed to sign Sam McCollum for about, was it 2.5 million? There you go. Except off a couple of nice transfers in the first season itself. This really is the moment of truth. What's going to happen with Harley Shefford as soon as we make him a cam? Goes up to a 70 overall. That is not too bad, but I think making him like a right winger is the play. We do that. It'll take a couple of weeks, but I have him on the right, and we have got another right midfielder. We'll just make him a left midfielder, and that should be fine. This guy is right footed too, so I think Chris Willick on the left side wouldn't be too bad. So let's make him a left winger. It'll only take a couple of weeks. Perfect. Well, we can make our homegrown talent now a right winger, and that doesn't really boost his overall up, but we're going to put an inverted winger plan on him and chuck him right into our first team and there you go guys for the first season this is how our squad's gonna look like and i'm pretty impressed with it the overalls are pretty decent i think it should be a solid season in the championship i don't know if we'll get promoted or not but not too bad most players are above 70 overall and that's i guess what we can hope for squad depth is fairly okay but can't really expect too much being in the championship now you you know but okay we'll see how things go that's our team for the first season let's see how things play out for us with a budget of about 1.35 milli there isn't really much we can do anyway probably for the rest of the season transfers wise but okay okay are we literally having a simulation of real life just like qpr and real life we're eighth in the league wow i mean qpr are seventh but pretty much the same position i think we won't be securing promotion in the first season that might genuinely be a good thing because i've noticed player growth in the promo in the championship is just absurdly good and that might work in our flavor look at this dicky guy he's up to a 75 dieng is doing well mccullum is up by a couple of ratings a boy chef has gone up by a couple too so that has benefited us a bit willock 75 so let's see how things go let's just get to the end of the season and see how we wrap up the first season well where we were in january is exactly where we are at the end of the season no playoff spot for us this season that's okay next season we'll improve the team come back again and i'm sure we'll get that playoff spot not too bad you know first season eighth i'll take it it depends on how well our players have grown that's what i wanted to see i wanted to see shefford really skyrocket in his own overall that's looking nice at the back de Wiggis is now our first choice center back overalls wise our team is actually looking not too bad you know like honestly we'll probably put him as a starter okay we'll take it oh it was dykes who scored the most goals for us keon prince didn't play all that much interesting 16 goals for dykes um chair with 12 goals and 11 assists what a season from the moroccan his name is a chair like what even is that for a name we'll probably change development plans on him to get his passing a bit better good season Jacob Ramsey did pretty well. We'll give him a new contract. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see about that. But yeah, overall, good first season. On to the next one. Into season two we go. And I'm liking the look of this team, boys. Willock being 77 out of nowhere is nice. Of course, our homegrown talent. I think in the wide positions, we're looking pretty decent. Midfield's looking okay with Jacob Ramsey growing. Chairs looking good. I think it's all about just finding proper spots where to improve. And I reckon that could be goalkeeper for us. All the depends on what money we're working with but unfortunately the board doesn't share that sentiment 49 manager rating that does not make me feel good but you know what'll make me feel good if you guys drop a like in the video and while you're down there subscribe as well for fifa 22 career mode content on the daily why not do that uh, it'll it'll make your 2022 brilliant why not stop the cap all right we've been given 8.47 million like unless we get into the prem i doubt we're gonna get big money to work with it's it's challenging well we had to pull out the checkbook for this one marcus pedersen the right back 11.5 million if you're wondering where we got the money for that i had to sell our existing right back sell charlie austin and a fair few players here and there so i really invested everything we've got this season into marcus but i feel like having a right back that good who'll probably be here for the rest of the save i think that's invaluable so we'll chuck a uh, check a defensive wide back plan on him and put him right in the starting 11 probably the only side we're making this season but i think it's a quality one guys i've just managed to find hector herrera available for free i think for a couple of seasons to help us get back into the premier league that's not a bad option so we're gonna try and sign him a two-year deal seems smart i think this is the kind of player that could really help us get back into the premier league so submit offer there you go free agents 
will be clutching this challenge and head to Herrera joins us. All right, guys. Now, this is how the first team's going to look like for this season. Signing Pedersen was brilliant. He's 76 already. Big expectations from him. The attack is decent. Let's see what kind of growth we can get in is this. This season, we make the jump up to the Prem. Let's see. Okay, wow. I didn't expect this, but we're top of the championship. Looks like season three is going to be in the Premier League. Oh, boy. That's honestly brilliant. Well, let's just get to the end and see what's up. And that's job done. Second season. Well, we're going right back up to the Premier League. We did it in style. 93 points. A lot of a gap between us and Brentford. You'll love to see it. Absolutely do. So, there you go. We're going to the Premier League. Hopefully, the team we've built is good enough to compete in the Premier League. I love our fullbacks. Dickie's decent. Hector Herrera's retained his overall. Jacob Ramsey. Gotta get a new striker for the Premier League. Probably a bit of reinforcements in the defense side of things. Maybe a new keeper. A lot to do now that we're in the Prem. Oh, Chair was our top scorer for the season. Fair play. Dykes again has been an unsung hero. Shefford and Willock have done really well. Look at the growth in Harley Shefford. Mental. Willock's again pretty OP too. So Hector Herrera with a solid season. I'm, I'm keen on season three now. Come on. First season back in the Premier League with the QPR. Certainly exciting indeed. This should be fun. And because we're getting the new TV money from the Premier League, about 46 million to work with. You'll love to see it. We got work to do, though, with the first team, boys. We need a new striker, I feel. Probably someone at the back that can help us out, maybe. Maybe a new goalkeeper. There is a lot of stuff we need to do this season. Let's get to work. Working on a deal for Jack Clark. I think he's a good talent. He's available for free. And I don't mind that at all. We're going to have to be smart about how much wage we'll have to pay him. So gonna go with 35,000 maybe 100,000 signing bonus let's chuck in that and it's a reasonable offer Jack Clark has been signed for free what's his overall and all looking like 71 rated right now that is a bit meh but still I think we needed a bit of squad depth for our wingers so there you go that's sorted I'm trying a swap deal with our goalkeeper and Arsenal's Aaron Ramsdale if we can pull this off guys I think it's huge more than spending big money on a striker getting a solid keeper for the rest of the challenge I feel like that is way smarter so we're paying 30 million plus any Dieng and that's actually worked for Ramsdale that's a big upgrade on our existing keeper that's brilliant I think that's our highest rated transfer we've made Aaron Ramsdale to QPR, absolutely love it. An 83 rated keeper, I think, is going to be clutch in the Premier League. For that striker position, I think the player I want is Fabio Silva. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure if I can afford him. 76 rated, I reckon he can only go up. He's got great potential. All depends on if we have enough money to sign him or not. Certainly a swap deal might help. I'm going to try and put Kian Prince in the deal and offer maybe 11 million. That's close to his valuation. Let's see what Wolves come back and say. They don't want him. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're going to have to maybe put Lyndon Dykes in the swap deal and see what's up. We'll reduce it to, again, 11 million because that is all we can afford right now. Let's see what they say. They aren't interested in him as well. Can we maybe add, let's say, a midfielder? Stefan Johansson. Dozzle. Maybe Dozzle to lower the price a little bit at least and submit 13 million oh, we just we'll need a little time so i'm not sure if we've got enough for fabio silva or not we'll have to wait and watch nah they just don't want they just want cash for fabio silva let me see if i can generate money to sign him i don't know if i can we'll have to see okay so maybe selling players like Lyndon dykes and all could help us out i'm gonna delegate the player sale to see how much money we can get for him that's gonna be super clutch guys if we can sell the two strikers we've got maybe we'll have enough for fabio silva another good offer 2.8 million for kian prince he's done a decent job for us but we need the cash Yep, guys, Dykes and Prince both have been sold. That leaves us with about 20 million to work with. Surely that should be enough to sign Fabio Silva from Wolves. Although now we have just one striker. In fact, as of this moment, we have no striker. So signing Fabio Silva is a complete necessity. Gonna start with 13 million. This is a very important transfer that we gotta pull off. They want 19.8. Surely not. We'll counter with 15.5. Gonna have to be smart about this. 19.8 they're trying to get every bit of cash they can out of us 16 and a half is going to be my counter offer they're willing to work with that let's go i'm literally making a huge bet on fabio silva he's going to be our first choice striker for this season we don't have any other strikers so a big bet on him and let's hope it pays off man and his overall just goes 
really high very soon. So Fabio Silva is the man. There you go, Fabio Silva done and dusted our new number nine. I'm very excited to see what he's all about this season. Also managed to sign a free agent in Cerezo. Pretty good deal I got him for, like 17,000 per week. Good backup striker, 70 overall. We've got a bit of depth this season as well, which is great. I'm ready to see how this season unfolds. We're going to announce him until January. A lot of improvements, guys. Aaron Ramsdale coming in. Fabio Silva. Players like Cerezo on the bench. Let's see how this season goes. Wow, guys. First season back in the Premier League and with 10th. That's what I'm saying. Being in the championship for the first couple of seasons allowed us to build a great base and that's done a madness for us now we can't improve our team in january because it's not just that we don't have money we've literally got nothing like i tried to renew a few contracts because a few players were upset we don't even have money to do that we're gonna have to wait until next season for that but on the pitch we are doing the job players are growing everything seems to be fine and we're just gonna fire ourselves until the end of this season let's go okay we literally start exactly where we were 10th in the the Premier League. Well, okay, we'll take it though. 49 points for our first season back in the Prem. Not too bad. The objective now next season is to maybe push further. Maybe try and get into a European spot because that's what will get us some really nice upgrades in the wages and transfer budget and we need that. But yes, solid season all round. Decent player growth as well. Stats wise, what are we looking at? Willick was our top scorer. Fabio Silva not too bad. Chair did well. Shepherd did well. He's up by five this season. Oh my god. God. Jacob Ramsey doing well today. So as our backup striker, not too bad. Good season all round. Time to try and take it one step further in season four. Season four. And I feel like at this point, things are going to just keep getting harder because the money is not flowing in. Just 18 million our transfer budget. I had to spend most of my money into just renewing contracts and that was that was brutal but oh well. This season all I can see is the improvement we need to make is bringing in a quality centre back. If we can sort that out that'll be decent. I probably got to look at free agents to try and keep the squad depth up. Hector Herrera will be retiring and leaving. Th that's there. It's going to be a tricky season boys but let's see what we can do. We have signed a midfielder that's fairly decent Dewsbury Hall 77 rated free agent 40,000 per week couldn't say no to that we need squad depth and we need budget buys and this one was one of them so had to make the most of it had to be another free agent signing I just couldn't find a good pickup for that center back position so Daniel Amati from Leicester's who I went for 78 rated it'll give us a couple of great seasons that really improves our back line a fair bit I feel and that's the most I could do with this season it's it's just how this is situation is with the club we are at right now and I also don't want to make any more signings so it's just the two free agents I want to keep a bit of cash for contract stuff because the wages I'm gonna to have to be paying for all these players that we've got is gonna just keep increasing like look at that um Hamalanen is not happy with this contract we'll have to pay him 38,000 per week players like the witches as well who needs a new contract they're all asking for a lot of money and because of that we just have to have money spare available like Jacob Ramsey for example who I'll try and renegotiate so no more signings we've improved the team with Dewsbury Hall and Amati that's how it's going to look like for the rest of the season I guess let's see what we do in season four the team is still very good in terms of overalls for the most part maybe this is the season top eight let's see okay guys we're definitely overachieving there's a chance we could get into the Champions League guys our defenders are under 80 overall like what's happening here fifth in the league with QPR halfway through the season I'm very surprised guys I really am. I know our squad's decent, but that decent? It's probably the attack in the midfield having a big carry job. Maybe our keeper's good as well. Maybe, yeah, all those reasons combining but that's solid can't wait to get to the end of the season and see where we actually finish next season our budget could be big because of this finally guys i think we're entering the big leagues we've managed to finish fifth in the premier league and we were so darn close to the premier league top four but we'll take it europa league for the following season not all too bad i think the team is everything in general is coming together now and next season with a bigger budget i reckon we can do a lot more because already i know where the improvements are needed we probably need better center backs maybe 
maybe another midfielder. There's so much to still do with this side, but overall, very impressed with what we've done so far. Let's hop right into the next season. Before that, a quick look at all the stats for everyone in this one. Fabio Silva has come good. That's why we invested in him. 25 goals this season. Willick did well. Sheffield needs to be start, you know, needs to start doing more since he's like, you know, one of our best players. We'll put him back on an inverted winger plan. I think I know why he hasn't been scoring. That finishing needs to go up for him. So we'll have all of that sorted. But in general, these are the stats. Let's head right into the next season. Genuinely, tears in my eyes, guys. 93 million. That's what we're working with. That's what's up. Now we can start pushing for bigger and bigger stuff in this save. QPR season five is where the story begins, I guess. Or we at least take it to the next level. Defense is where I'm going to be making heavy improvements, no doubt about it. Probably midfield as well is somewhere we could look at. A better cam is possible. The opportunities are endless. We just got to be smart about it. But getting a better defender, in fact, maybe even a couple of defenders, might just be the play. Let's see how things play out in this window. Is this guy by any chance the regen of Thiago Silva? I have a sneaky feeling he might be, so I'm going to take a chance and sign him. If he is, that is a gargantuan dub. He wants an important squad role, so he's got to be above 78 overall. Getting a centre-back for free like that could just be huge for us. His wage demands are low, but we'll definitely up that to like 20,000, just to have him not crib out his contract later. Kleber Duarte. Let's see what's up with him. And he's 79 rated at the age of 18. There you go. That's one of our center backs completely sorted for the rest of the save. Guys, we may have struck a gold mine here. Joe Gomez, 28, in his prime. Contract expiring, which means we can get a deal and a half on him. And I want to take it. Improving the back line could just be vital for us. And I'm thinking we, we snuck in, let's say, kind of a swap deal. Putting in maybe this guy and offering... 60 million. I don't think we can go wrong with that. The question is, do they want him? They don't. I'm not surprised here, but we can still maybe reduce this to 65 million and get him on a bargain. Yes, we can. An 88 rated center back signing for that price. You can't go wrong. Joe Gomez has been signed. This is the kind of signing that's taking us from here to right up here. Top class signing. I expect Champions League football from next season. Let's go. What a transfer. And that still leaves us with about 28 million to work with. I reckon getting maybe a better midfielder has to be the next play. We just sold a couple of our backup defenders and look at that up to 34 million that's a lot better now i know i signed him recently in another fixing challenge but i just love this guy Connor gallagher is a baller and i just feel like he's the perfect player but no he's he's gonna be worth so much we can't afford him i'm gonna have to scout others and there you go, we've managed to bring in a midfielder as well in Samuel Ricci, the Italian, 81 rated. Again, you put a development plan on him, and I think he's going to be a ball of you. The best one seems like central midfield, actually box to box, I, like, I quite like that one, so we'll chuck that one on him. And our team is looking amazing for this season. We've got an 88 rated centre-back, Shefford and Willock to lead the line. The balance is unreal in this squad, big expectations, we're going to sim out till January and see what's up in Europe and the Premier League. I am so confused, guys. How on earth have we gone backwards? 13th in the Premier League? Guys, what happened? We, we did better in our first season at the Prem. I'm, I'm so confused. This is bad. This is bad. <sighs> oh, well, what about the Europa League? We managed to top our group, so at least there we're doing well. Anyways, the plan is now to just sim until the end of the season and see what we can do. Hopefully turn things around. As bad as we've been in the Premier League, we've got a chance to win a trophy against Leeds United Carabao Cup final. Yo, this is a good shot. All right, here we go. Team is looking great. I'm 100% I'm sure our team is way better than Leeds, so we're favorites for this one. And we come through our first trophy. Shepherd has scored as well. Ricky and Willock too coming in with the goals. That's the Carabao Cup in the bag. Kind of funny how EFL basically made us use QPR in this challenge and well, we ended up winning the EFL Cup. That's superb. Guys, we had a ridiculously good second half of the season season but that terrible first half cost us massively we end up finishing fifth in the premier league again with 68 points there is a chance we could get champions league depends on what happened in the europa league oh that is so frustrating at 
Atletico Madrid knocked us out in the semi-finals. Fair enough. I guess the grind continues. Our team is better than ever. I think it's only going to take us maybe a couple of seasons or I think next season it's to have to get into the Champions League and hopefully win it soon. So I'm definitely looking on the positive side. Let's just see how much money and everything we'll get next season. But firstly, stats for the season. Harley Shepherd is now woken up from his slumber. 32 goals and 11 assists. That's what's up. I guess the inverted winger plan has done bits for him because, yeah, look at that growth on him. He's 92 rated right now. Fabio Silva, again, solid season. Willick's done well. Chess performed really well, but that's a position maybe I think we need to improve upon. Let's see what we can do next season. Season 6 now with QPR. This season, we got to make it into the Champions League. I feel like our team's good enough to even win it. So, yeah, no two ways about it. Improvements-wise, I'm thinking we bring in like a fullback for squad depth purposes. I'm also thinking we improve our camp position too. That's probably what I'm looking at in terms of improvements. Maybe a bit of squad depth for midfield. Maybe that's not necessary. Ooh, our squad is pretty thin. So, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what needs to be done. 107 million? I don't think money is that much of an issue. We might have found another free agent god. I wouldn't mind him being our fourth choice centre mid or if he's even better than that. Why not? So, gotta fill up our squad. Signing him seems smart. Yo, he's 73 rated. Ah. Uh. Expected a little bit better. When I think of a fullback who can play on both sides comfortably, Diogo Dalot pops up. I think he'd be literally perfect as that kind of a fullback to have on the bench who can do both positions well. There you have it, guys. Diogo Dalot has been signed. Our new number five. A lot of squad depth, I guess, now in that right back position. Love this, guys. Putting him on the bench, I think, just improves our overall squad depth so much. We put him instead over here. Perfect, man. Perfect. Trying to sign Dane. Scarlet from Atletico Madrid. It originally he plays for, I think, Spurs. If we can do a swap deal or something for him, because this Cerezo guy isn't growing all that much, and having like an 80 rated player on the bench, I think is smart. Plus, Dane Scarlet's contract's expiring. Ah, oh, well, they, they don't want Cerezo, but they're willing to work with 25 million on the offer. That's brilliant. We can't afford it. Let's go. Look at that, guys. A couple of signings done. First up, Dane Scarlet, improving on that squad depth for the striker position. Also decided to sign Harvey Barnes, because... Yeah, again, squad depth. You guys can guess it. The theme for this season is overall squad depth because we're pushing to make it into the Champions League. And I feel like that's what's necessary. We put them in the starting or on the bench and look at this. Dominic Scarlett here. Harvey Barnes instead of maybe a Marty. There you go. And we have Clark over here. Dalot here. That is one hell of a bench. Honestly, that's what I call squad depth. I'm ready for this season. We need to secure Champions League now. Much better. Fifth in the Premier League, but still a point away from that top four spot. We need it by the end of the season, man. Can't afford to miss out on Champions League again. Let's hope we can get it done. Also, Europa League. Let's see the situation. What is this scene? Wow, we've been knocked out of the Europa League. Oh my god, is that embarrassing. You know what? Maybe that's a good thing. We can focus in the Prem and secure that Champions League position. No signings that we can make right now. We just, I mean, we have the money. Not really. Just going to focus on contracts and all. Let's just get to the end of the season. Now, that's a relief, guys. We finally, for the first time, will be in the Champions League next season. That is a big relief. Still ways away from beating Liverpool to the title, but we'll certainly take that Champions League next season and I already feel we've got a squad capable of winning it. By the way, just watching the Arsenal game and Arsenal just took the lead against Manchester City. Book Kai Osaka with the goal. Fair play, Arsenal. Are they going to beat City? I don't know what's going to happen. In other news, we got put in the Conference League and um, we got knocked out in the semis to Napoli. Yikes. Fabio Silva, our top scorer with 32. Good to see. Willock, good season. Shefford as well. Cher, not bad. Jacob Ramsey, again, 90 rated. Why does he have a Lord Voldemort face? I have no idea. But yeah, good season. Next season, could it be the final one? Let's hope so. This is our first season, by the way, in the Champions League, you could say, and we've been given 116 milli to work with. That's decent. That is very, very decent. we got to be smart with it. And also, I've just realized squad depth is going to be an issue here because we need, like, maybe a centre-back and a goalkeeper for depth. That's about it, really. Yeah, we need that, and we can maybe make one superstar signing. That's what I'm thinking. Would this be even possible? Mason Mount. Oh, I might have to try something ridiculous to even make this happen but let's see let's see if we can swap Cerezo who's worth a decent amount of money and maybe offer them 80 
85 million just to see what they think i wouldn't mind this they want 122 we can afford it guys we can what if i reduce it to 100 million 100 million for mason mount it works let's go we are gonna be signing mason mount he'll be a big upgrade to chair and just the kind of player we need to win the champions league he's done it before with chelsea can do it again with us guys i think i have just found maybe kelo navas's regen mark barrios 93 rated free agent you kidding me yo i'm gonna sign him literally i'm gonna sign him i know we've got ramsdale but this is a no-brainer we put ramsdale on the bench simple as that backup keeper instead of signing a backup keeper we're signing a first choice keeper that is utterly ridiculous yo we're gonna win we're gonna win everything with this signing honestly unbelievable that we're getting him for this price i'm gonna try and reduce that a little bit a hundred thousand because i think that's way too less it works though barrios has signed we've just signed a 93 rated keeper before we even completed the mount signing this is unreal this is genuinely unreal we're gonna be putting aaron ramsdale on the bench i can't believe we're doing that wow barrios in goal who is he probably kelo navas's regen is my guess but that's unreal yep we've actually pulled this off mason mount is here to qpr 89 rated boy that's a quality signing you know what? With the business we've done, we don't really have much cash for the defender. And I'm going to be taking a bit of a risk. We'll keep the centre-back signing until January, if it's needed, that is. So for now, until January, we're going to be running this team. First season in the Champions League 2. Squad depth is there. Everything seems to be there. Mason Mount, our new signing, a 93-rated keeper. Let's do this, boys. We're going to be simming until January and seeing what's up. Okay, it's been a rough season. I don't know what happened. Ninth in the Prem. Yo, what, what happened? With the a 93 rated keeper i'm so confused i am legit so confused thought squad depth was okay i know we don't have many center backs but still i'm a bit confused now what about the champions league well we managed to top our group so i guess focus has been on the champions league let it just be that way round of 16 we've drawn leverkusen that's a good start i think i'm just gonna sim through now i don't want to make any more signings let's just get on with it and see if we can win the champions league this season all right boys first leg against leverkusen we've come really Really far with QPR and we're not letting up now. First leg, 3-1. Come on. 3-1 up in the first leg. There's no way we're bottling this now. Just nah, no chance. There you go. 6-2 on aggregate. Fabio Silva and Mount getting it done. What a finals. Here we come. Not gonna lie, the luck is there with us. RB Leipzig in the quarters. Yo, we can do this. We need a solid first leg. Let's go for it against Leipzig. Come on. Three all. Oh my god. Everything to play for on the second leg. Come on, simulation gods. Bless me now. I need you all to come through for me. Let's knock out RB Leipzig here. And that's exactly what we've done. On we go to the semi-finals. Oh no, it's Barcelona. I think our luck may have run out, but I'm still confident. Confident. The overalls of our team is just crazy. A solid first leg is going to go a long way for us. So let's hope for the best here. 2-1 win. Let's go. 2-1 in the first leg. We just need to get a draw from this. That should be enough. But instead we win it. 5-3 on aggregate. Finals of the Champions League. Here we come. Atletico Madrid seem to be a team so common in these fixing challenges, man. But well, here we go. Atleti in the final. Let's first see how we fared in other competitions before that. All right, guys. We somehow clawed our way back to the top four in fact we could have even won the title if we hadn't had such a terrible first half of the season but we'll take that just look at this team that we've built like wow it is just insane it's kind of surprising that it took us so long to get here but oh well 32 goals fabio silva top scorer i'm so keen to use players like him willock and even shefford like it just seems so so fun players I'm, I'm i'm really excited for that mason mount as well good season from him yeah it's time to get into the final and wrap this up the wheel gave us a challenge to take QPR to the top. We've done it. And now we got to beat Atletico Madrid in the final. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Champions League final. I really enjoyed this one. You know, just the randomness of having to do QPR out of nowhere. And also the fact that it's taken us a while. I've, I've drawn a liking to a lot of these players. Shepard, Pedersen, all ballers. Jacob Ramsey having a Lord Voldemort head. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just been fun. Let's end it off with, of course, the Champions League. Pedersen now. All my players should be super quick. Interesting pass for Shefford now. Looking for that cross. Decent. Couldn't attack it though. Oh, good defending from Richin. Look at him roll over like that. What on earth was that? Neymar, of course, uh, 
trying to like you know get inspired by him i don't know what was going on there but anyways here's willick on the ball looking inside for ricky now it is jacob ramsey again mr voldemort himself but oh come on how did ricky keep hold of that i have no idea but we keep attacking we keep attacking here shepherd waiting for that movement it comes from pedersen cross into the back post cleared away oh that is a good ball in but our 93 rated keeper easy stuff i don't know how we managed to get hold of him like just lying there in the free agents tab a 93 rated keeper how mad is that fede valverde playing at atletico madrid is probably the most unrealistic thing i've seen in a while like wow i see i see you fabio silva i see you i see the movement again no i couldn't play that pass that's a good pass but duarte had it covered by the way he's another one of those gems we managed to sign for literally free so yeah we've been really got gotten ourselves very lucky with the free agent transfer oh here we go now with Sheffield. i can see the ball in smart heading it down that was a mistake from me oh ja felix has gone through going for goal what a save from barrios that's why we paid the wages we can't say transfer fee because he was literally available for free inside good pass for fabio silva I see Sheffield making a good run oh, i couldn't get the shot off fabio silva should still head it down falls for mason mount one player who can score those kind of goals, but not there. Oh, that's some good defending from Duarte. But man, Atleti are so annoying to play against. This game, barely anything's happened in the first half. Gabriel Jesus looks inside for Kareem Adiemi. No way Adiemi's going to ruin our dream. Kingsley Coman. Oh, how has he just gotten past me there? Pedersen somehow gets it away. But man, Atleti with the pressure. That was straight at Barrios. Another good save from him. Oh, we've just given it away so cheaply for Adiemi. Gabriel Jesus off the post. That is a big let off. I think Barrios had it covered. At least I'll, I'll kind of want to say that. But my God, was that a bit stressful. Haven't lost a single final in these fixing challenges. But with QPR, this might just be the one. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, we managed to block that and the threat has been taken under control. But what did we just do there? Gabriel Jesus now. Duarte with an incredible block. I don't know what's happening in this game right now. Maybe Joe Gomez wants to show what he's all about. He's certainly got a bit of pace on him. Still Joe Gomez here. And look at the pace. He is absolutely rapid. Look backwards for Ramsey. Ricky now. It's Fabio Silva. Holding him off. Back for, of course, Ramsey. Now Mason Mount. Could have been a penalty maybe. Ricky, I just don't see any options here. Fabio Silva turns, shoots, blocked again. I hate playing Atleti in these finals. They are just so, so defensive, man. It just gets frustrating because they don't attack, you don't attack. It's just, what am I supposed to even do here right here, you know? Like, look at this. They just defend so well with whatever setup they've got. Oh, Jao Felix has broken through. Pedersen was not letting him through. I think I've defended probably the best I have in any game like on FIFA 22 this year because I'm making last ditch tackle after last ditch tackle and it's all been working just as I say that they might break through here nope we defend that but again the pressure from Atleti is just relentless like what am I supposed to do finally we get a bit of breathing room and could start something here Fabio Silva Ah, the pressure from Atleti, as I said, it is just unreal. Gabriel Jesus, the nope. ball, Barrios saves us. Barrios is the legend. Oh my god. The game was done right there. They should have won it. Barrios has saved us and given us a fighting chance, but we can't throw it away. Felix, Barrios again. Oh my god. If we do end up winning the Champions League, it's going to be because of our 93 rated free goalkeeper. Unreal. Right, guys, we might just get our one last attack right here. It's Fabio Silva. Seems to be quick. Ball inside. What a chance. No way. No way. Arno Blanc saves that at the dead. Unreal. That was the trophy in the bag. Oh. Sheffer takes this one. Uh, Arno Blanc. Arno Blanc is not going to let that one off. <sighs> We're going into extra time. We don't deserve this. We don't deserve to be level. 3.5 XG they have got. We Ours is one. We've been so lucky. Oh, we've managed to send Pedersen through on a very nice ball indeed. And he's... Oh, he almost got past the player there. Mason Mount from distance. Imagine if that would have beaten all black as Willa keeps it in somehow. Looks for that ball back in for Mason Mount. One touch controls it and Mason Mount bangs it. He's on the thumbnail for a reason. Mason Mount could have won QPR the Champions League here. In fact, 
it probably will. At this very moment, the score is unreal. And the way Mount has done it, oh wow. Mason Mount, unreal. He did it for Chelsea, and now he's done it for us. What a cross from Willock to find Mount. One touch, the way he controlled it, and bang, through the legs of one of the defenders. You won't see many better goals than that, boys. 1-0 up. This is it. Now I'm confident we'll get it done. Just got to defend like we have done for, for this entire game so far. Should be over the game now. Why is the ref not blowing the whistle? Clear it away. Ramsey, just kick it. Somebody just kick it ahead. It's done. QPR have won the Champions League. And wow, what a grind it was. Seven seasons, man. This is one of the longest fixing challenges we've had. And it took all the way to extra time. For Mount to score a ridiculous goal to separate the two sides. But we've done it. We spun the wheel. We got QPR. And we've made them Champions League winners. Let's go. Enjoy the celebrations. And with that, we're going to be wrapping up today's video. This was a blast to record. Maybe we need to set up a wheel and do more spin the wheel stuff. But anyways, um, big thank you to EFL for, you know, collaborating for this video. Make sure to check out the video we've done on their channel as well. Links will be in the description. And yeah. I'll catch you guys for the next one, I guess. Drop a like, subscribe, and peace.